I suppose it's a mindset needs to change and that takes time. The way we went about it in Oaken Lake Academy is by, as I said, consulting with staff so that everyone had an opportunity to raise their concerns during um, inset days. We had lots of discussion, you know, in mixed groups, not necessarily in departments, so that people could raise concerns and give their thoughts. We all had, in some way, our own experience already of doing some sort of restorative practice, but putting it across the whole school was a big change and getting everyone on board. And I really believe, well, I'm really invested in restorative practice, but I believe that it only works if it's a whole school ethos and that it stays really high in the priority so that it's, we always remind ourselves of it. And I suppose it was getting to that stage, which took time. Beyond the relationship framework that was established, we also had the opportunity as a whole staff to participate in restorative practices training. And that happened on more than one occasion. That went hand in hand with nurture training that we'd had. Um, and we were also on a journey for rights respecting school. And I think that this is the same ethos, so we were already starting to talk about that. So having that training and that um, upskilling, I suppose, of staff, and we were given uh, little cards that gave you prompts and things, you know, questions that would lead you through a restorative conversation. Because for some staff, if that was, when they had it, that was the first conversation that they'd had of that type with a pupil. And that can be difficult. And it's difficult for the pupil who's not been in that situation either. So it was small, as I would say, drip feed approach but not giving up on it and realising that there are times when you're going to go through this process and it's not going to go to plan and we're going to make mistakes as teachers and we learn from them and we have support, we've got support from each other and our colleagues in our departments, we've got support from our principal teachers and we've got support from our senior leadership team. So there's always someone there to help us on our journey to becoming a fully restorative school.